Genesis chapter 35 is a pivotal chapter in the book of Genesis, focusing on Jacob's transformative journey as he returns to Bethel, a place of significant spiritual encounters in his life. The chapter begins with God directing Jacob to move his family to Bethel and build an altar, reaffirming his covenant with Jacob and prompting a renewal of faith and dedication. As Jacob prepares his household for this sacred journey by removing foreign gods and purifying themselves, themes of repentance, obedience, and divine protection are highlighted. This chapter also marks the fulfillment of God's promises and the continuation of Jacob's lineage through a series of family events that unfold amidst the divine narrative. Genesis chapter 35 verse 1 And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Verse 2 Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. Verse 3 And let us arise, and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. Verse 4 And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. Verse 5 And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. Verse 6 So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is, Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. Verse 7 And he built there an altar, and called the place El Bethel, because their God appeared unto him, when he fled from the face of his brother. Verse 8 But Deborah, Rebekah's nurse died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Elonbahut. Verse 9 And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came out of Padanaram, and blessed him. Verse 10 And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. Verse 11 And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Verse 12 And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. Verse 13 And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. Verse 14 And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone. And he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. Verse 15 And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him, Bethel. Verse 16 And they journeyed from Bethel and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath, and Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. Verse 17 And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. Verse 18 And it came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. Verse 19 And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. Verse 20 And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. Verse 21 And Israel journeyed, and spread his tent beyond the tower of Edar. Verse 22 And it came to pass, when Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. Verse 23 The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. Verse 24 The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. Verse 25 And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali. Verse 26 And the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padanaram. Verse 27 And Jacob came unto Isaac his father unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. Verse 28 And the days of Isaac were an hundred and fourscore years. Verse 29 And Isaac gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Genesis chapter 35 concludes with a series of familial and significant life events that reinforce the ongoing fulfillment of God's promises to Jacob and his descendants. The chapter covers the death of Rachel, Jacob's beloved wife, during the birth of Benjamin, adding to the complexity of Jacob's family dynamics. Additionally, the chapter notes the death of Isaac, Jacob's father, 
marking both an end and a sense of continuity in the patriarchal lineage. As Jacob's family settles and expands, the narrative further underlines God's unwavering faithfulness and the enduring legacy of his covenant, setting the stage for the unfolding stories of the tribes of Israel. Like the video, share the video, stay tuned for chapter 36. May peace be with you.